CNC solar electric and today we're going to take apart the Amon solar hybrid inverter and see how it's made. Well, that was easy. All right, let's take a look inside here. Looks identical to the um, Mega Revo EG4 model. You have uh, your battery input, labeled plus and minus. You've got your RS45, your CT, CTL1, CTL2. Up here you've got CAN1, CAN2, RS45 meter. And this is also your CAN BMS. Then over here you have uh, dry contacts. And over here you have some relays and your lines. Okay, those are your PV inputs and your generator input. And then your grid input, and then load one and load two. Load one is your critical loads, and load two are non-critical loads that would be dropped when the uh, power goes out. Line the load one will keep going off battery, just like a UPS. I should say a standby UPS. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's take the rest of it off. So far, the workmanship looks good. They got glue on all their connectors. Everything's glued down. I don't see anything loose. Let's see, loose ones. Got a uh, USB-C port here. This is a surge arrestor. Well, it's probably a surge arrestor for the ports. And, um, yeah, let's, let's take a look on the inside. Ivy Woo at Amon Solar tells me that this fancy cover with the beveled edges was designed by the engineers at Mercedes-Benz. Impressed. It's the nicest looking one out there. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Let's take a look here. We've got a Bunch of relays for controlling everything. And these are capacitors for your in inverter filter. Uh, interesting choke. Some sort of co common mode choke. Let's see what we got over here. These are your boost and bus, positive and negative. Here's your power supply board. This up here is probably generating all your power supply. And then this little board here has got a backup on it. So I assume that's got all your logic and control circuits on it. I used to design these things. Never designed one quite this, this uh, complicated. And then under there, you can see there's more boards. Boards, more RTV. <laughs> Everything's torque sealed. Nothing's going loose on this. That I like. It's not loose. That's not loose. Those are not loose. Capacitors. This is your switch here on the outside. 
And that's your rapid shutdown switch, which is basically the control, probably controls the relays. Um, let's see. Interesting. So these are your DC strings coming out and all of the DC comes in here. Hmm. So they have four MPPT inputs, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four red wires here, and then the com the negatives are common. I got it. I got it. So you got four MPPTs and then two returns, not four. The, the wires are bundled together. That's fine. That's normal. Just blind the first time. These are your CTs for the load. Load one and load two CTs. These are your jumpers they probably offer some something where they couldn't connect the traces you can see how many vias they have through the board there to maximize the current density on those traces you've got another ct over here it must be an output filter of some sort. I've never seen one with three coils like that, unless it's just wound that way. It's one coil. And then those are just your display cables and your power supply and a fan for the power supply. And you can't really see the power electronics which are underneath it. I'm not going to take it that far apart. So there you go. I hope yeah, you it also that. has a really good uh, user manual. It's pretty well written, somewhat broken English, but it, it actually explains things quite well. And then uh, a quick start guide, certificate of quality, um, and a warranty card. So I think you, there is a three year warranty on the inverter. It also comes with the mounting hardware to uh, wedge into the wall and these are um, captive locking nuts to put through a wall and uh, or a stud and then it comes with the cts i think the cts are a little small for the 200 amp wire what are they rated these are only rated 90 amp so for most homes you would need a bigger one but this is only a 5 kva inverter so that's all you need hey so this is Todd at NC Solar Electric. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be hooking this up to my battery and testing it as soon as I can. Um, again, this is Todd at NC Solar Electric. Don't forget to check out my channel, the Solar Power DIY Help Desk. And also we have a store, ncsolarelectric.square.site, where I have microinverters, I have the almond solar inverters, solar panels, and all kinds of stuff. And what isn't on the store, I can get it for you. Um, primarily, what I do is help people go solar. So if you need help, you need a plan set, you need to ask questions to someone, I'm the guy. Give me a call, 877-58-SOLAR. Take care, have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.